Hey guys, it's Jenna and welcome back to my channel. Welcome to my Retin-A or Tretinoin 30 week update. If you want to see some up close video footage in different lighting conditions as well as up close photography of what my skin is looking like after 30 weeks on Retin-A or Tretinoin, stay tuned. <music> So one of these days you're going to click on one of my videos and instead of being in my downstairs basement bathroom, um, I will have hopefully like a filming setup. Um, still a little bit of ways out from that, but it should be coming at some point in, you know, in the future. Um, just need to make a little bit more money here on YouTube before then. Um, so quickly, before I get into my Retin-A update, um, I want to tell you guys what I have on my skin right now. So obviously, you know, all of the video footage and photographs will be without makeup. Um, but right now what I have on my skin is my, I've washed my face for the day. I have my vitamin C serum on. I'm actually using a vitamin C serum by Timeless today. It's their vitamin uh, C plus E plus ferulic acid serum. Um, I have on my CeraVe daily moisturizing lotion that I use. Um, and for sunscreen, I have a Korean sunscreen that I recently reviewed. It is um, by a brand called Thank You Farmer. And it is their Sun Project Water Sunscreen or Sun Cream. This is a 50 plus SPF. It's a PA plus plus plus. And it's a very, um, very luminous sunscreen. But the reason why I really wanted to put this one on today is, I mean, first of all, I think luminous skin is gorgeous, but also I have more of a matte foundation on. And because I am a tretinoin user and my skin technically, you know, is a little bit more dry than normal, I like to really put on a hydrating sunscreen, especially when I'm gonna be wearing more of a matte makeup. Uh, the makeup that I am wearing today is a very light coverage uh, with a wet sponge of Estee Lauder Double Wear. Um, it is in the shade 2N2 Buff. So um, that is the foundation and the sunscreen that I have on my skin right now. Let's go ahead and get into um, some of the specifics of, you know, my experience with Retin-A and just kind of where I'm at uh, in my life in general. So I am age 33. I have never had any Botox or filler put into my face. I've never had microneedling, PDO threads, really any other treatments aside from two halo lasers. Um, I had one after each of my pregnancies and the most recent one was about 10 months ago now. Um, so other than that, really nothing else done to my skin, no plastic surgery of any kind. Um, solely using the tretinoin and then I'm at I'm on the 0.1% I started on the 0.025% and at week 13 I switched up right away to the 0.1% so I skipped the 0.05% in between so kind of reasons why I started tretinoin um, hormonal acne that had typically popped up on my chin and jawline area which is now gone um, fine lines and wrinkles. So, you know, the years of photo damage or sun damage. So essentially also skin rejuvenation then, and also preventative aging. So, um, last week for my update, you know, I told you guys, I'm really not breaking out anymore on my face. However, a uh, area of primary congestion for me has been around my mouth. And I showed you guys kind of an area on my lip of some um, congested pores or clogged pores that were coming out. Um, that has since come out and also gone away. So I still do have some congested pores here around my mouth, but really not many. I'm, I'm thinking by the one year mark, all of them will be gone, which is amazing. Uh, aside from that, I had mentioned last week that I was still having periodic periodic dryness around my mouth and nasal area. So I had added um, two or three drops at night of rosehip oil by the brand called The Ordinary to my moisturizer. And that has completely gotten rid of any, any peeling at all that I was having. So, um, highly recommend doing that. Again, I'll include Amazon links to everything I use in the description box below. Um, so other than that, really no updates, uh, on, on the tretinoin front. Other than I'm loving my skin, I'm so glad to be uh, past the, whew, got some bang in my eye, I'm so glad to be past the purge phase 
and I'm just excited of what tretinoin can continue to bring in terms of my pigmentation, etc. Um, so that being said, let's go ahead and get into the uh, videos in different lighting conditions that will be up close so that you guys can really see what my skin is looking like as well as up close photography. All right, as always, my first lighting condition is downstairs in my basement under can lighting. This is the most flattering of all the lighting conditions. My second lighting condition is still downstairs in my basement, but I'm in a bathroom with no window and the lighting in here is a slightly more blue tint. My third lighting condition is in shaded natural light. This is the least flattering of the lighting conditions. It will definitely be able to highlight my pigmentation and any blemishes much more than um, other lights. And my last lighting condition is outside in direct sunlight. Now there was just a slight haze of clouds today, so it's not quite as bright as it normally is. And then lastly, we're going to get into some up-close photography of different areas of my face. All right, guys, so hope you enjoyed this Retin-A week 30 update. Questions, comments, uh, put them in the comment section below. I do try and get back to 100% of my comments. And yeah, other than that, um, I have another video that I'll be filming today on a bag or a purse, so uh, be looking out for that video here. And I have some other really fun review videos coming up. So if you are new, please hit that subscribe button and also give this video a like. And until next time, I hope everyone's doing well and I'll talk to you all soon. Bye guys.